Hey guys, we're back with Valhalla. Uh, I, it's okay to be pronouncing it like that, right? I don't have to say VA11 Hall A Cyberpunk bartend bartender action, right? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Last time Kira and Mickey showed off. That that was it for the day. Only one person. But Danger You. Well, let's see how the concert went. And on hate spawn in the last in the last day. Don't want fights. Dudes in danger you. <laughs> Let's go back to the concert, please. 2070X and you stupid idiots. Uh... Oh no, the moderators! <laughs> They're going mad with power. I want to on that. Oh yeah, and that one person who's thinking of asking out their best friend. It's like one of my Japanese enemies. Kiss! I don't think about it. <laughs> I tripped into a guy. <laughs> Alice Rabbit there. Electric Boogaloo. Two Electric Boogaloo. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. December 17th will come to the second attribution. Fifth day is coming. That font. Oh boy, spooky font. It's happening. <laughs> Time for despair. <laughs> that first one I just got out, got out of jail. Not going back. You know what happens to people with IPs on the wrong thread? <laughs> we just posted though. Hi, Cybercrime, you know, I just want to let you know I'm not Alice, but in fact, you're Rob. Ooh. Why are you guys so nervous? <laughs> the admin shows up. Burfer. Is that an Ubi Deco reference? No, it's probably not. Oh, okay, so there's gonna be one more app, probably. Here, I'm gonna keep going. Let me do the relax. See, like, drink. Cocktails. I'm very careful about getting kids tipsy before a show, though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. She says as she just went to a bar before. Wait, do you think I could just give her like a drink with like the card or treat and then a concert with myself? What would that work or? Just don't wait for me outside the stadium, or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I wouldn't like to see you hurt, so please don't do it. Thanks, GC. Wow, the second date in the city. Won't be easy to set up, but I'm happy my agency approved it. This is by far our biggest show, and I can't wait to experience it again. Okay, and there's the new site, right? Augmented Eye. Glory of Light and... I assume this, someone's gonna show up tomorrow, but, you know. Today's interview segment is set with Kino Award nominee Gloria Light. Modern Beauty. And it's my pleasure. I assume she's a robot, right? Maybe, maybe not? Tell us after what was content block. What? Content blocked in my region? But, but not the whole content, just the first bit. Here, Mickey confirmed his best pop star in history. Will let anyone tell you otherwise. By Donovan Dawson. She's the pet. Like, she had to be handcrafted to do this perfect. Holy moly. She's the top tier of everything, and I'm baffled as to how there's still people out there hoping this awesome and how they great. They can't. It's impossible for a human to top such an achievement. I, for one, welcome our new Global Co. Overboard. New San Francisco, rocked by powerful, powerful earthquakes. Millions saved. Kimberly. Oh, who is this written by? Lana Smithy, so just a bunch of people. Well, not a bunch, one guy, you know, pseudonym. Modern Titus has been able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. Which city is not currently known for the seismic zone? Okay, look, we're ready, right? We bought the song? Oh, yeah, can we? We bought a magazine, so does that magazine show up in the room? Uh, I don't see it. Huh. 
Yeah, let's buy something and see if it shows up. Best boss. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. Alright, it's gotta be something noticeable. Maneki Neko. So let's let's fight let's fight this. I don't Oh there it is, yep. Okay. It's kinda neat. It's probably an achievement for like buying all the items, right? And so how do we go to work? Let's go. Oh should have saved there. Oh man. Good evening. Oh hi there. Expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. She regular? Alma? Ah. Leon Otis. What? Gilligan. Gilligan. Marcelo. Hey, I said Gilligan. <laughs> Detective Butler. <laughs> Some motorcars are on the way and an extra if you wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Emma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Great, thanks. Okay, well, I'll change this. Since they didn't save, you know, last time, they just went back to Walking for the Hall, so. Oh, we can't. Yeah, let's, let's start this way this time so we get some different zones. Uh, showtime. Underground club. The assignment. Alternate reality. Heart of the city. City that never sleeps. Follow the trail. That sounds cool. Skyline. Metropolis and Digital Drive. And the mixed drinks to change lives. And I'm all out of changing lives. Okay, this sounds weird. What was that? Oh, there's something they make me say made me say back in the instruction. Kinda stop. Huh. What do a school that made us Okay, this song. Jukebox. <laughs> what do a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in? That happened when you didn't drop off until high school, so. What? Eh, it's like, kinda like that. Oh yeah, look at this. Last with the Sunday tree? Did you. Uh, I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. It's that Kira and Mickey girl came here yesterday before a concert, actually. Oh yeah, I never see your name here. You seem very surprised. I like B Link more, actually. What? Dirty B Link fan? Get out of my bar, kid! That stock looking duo, right? Is it stock? Stoic? Yep, those. Seems like you had a better day than mine yesterday. The breakup with Jamie. Look, if it's stoic, I'm never using that word again. Like, I've, I've hardly used that word because. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, known each other for what? Few months now? Be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. Say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like, the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped pleading. Pretend to, pretend to be more interested, you know? Well, what's with their hair, though? That's not how hair works. <laughs> I don't buy it, because I know the product. Now this sounds kind of eh. Like, it's good, but not what I want. Showtime? Eh. I'll let that play for a minute. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all these pics you're having with boss. The one spilling your phone's memory. Look, boss is pretty cool, alright? Some have sneakily taken up. Some sneakily taken up that. Is that true? What do you care? Oh. Well, how, uh, time with the girls. <laughs> Let's really play Final Fantasy. How long are you gonna be? Uh, 20 to 40 minutes. Depends on how long until save. There's no quick saves. Just, what's LMK stand for? Just let me know! How the heck did you find that out? So it is true! Shut up! I'm a hacker, remember? What? She's a hat. What? Oh, she's an illegal hacker. I really like this one if you're sleeping in your office. I think I'll copy it. Well, hold on now. You! Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? <laughs> sure. She wants a bad touch. I'll give you a bad touch. Get what I need. Oh my 
Oh, shit, I didn't make this. Bad touch. Here. Who gives the shrinks their silly names? Usually the ones who are interested in it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. If that girl keeps laughing over this particular drink stand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so is Damien again. The one with the nice car. She is also the manager at the bank, but that car is what caught my eye. <laughs> so what's wrong with them? Turns out he was a live person. <laughs> like, that's live action role playing. I, I think people just call it live, right? Live action role playing. Sounds more like the nickname of some heavy handed writer or military organization. What did he play role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock fairies? Like the bird? People, those events where people barely dress, stink, roam the mud, and do lewd things in the open? Those are hippies, yeah. Drink those in. Something I'd rather not deal with. At all. Okay, that's fair. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I'm gonna support my partner when he does. Or if it's something like that. You see, that's the problem right there. Instead of breaking up while he had something for him, most of the time you're still getting to know him. What's on this? The assignment? I give me another alternate reality. Oh. Remind me to just keep with wel Welcome to Valhalla from now on. <laughs> Have you any it's not like this I don't like the songs, they just don't really like you know. I like Welcome to Valhalla more. Have you any of your longest lasting relationships or things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right order or whatever. Still sorely disappointed. At least I'm trying to get to that. When was the last time you spoke to or something else? Uh, last night. The cat doesn't count. A year ago. It was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. Where are you? What a push. Wow! You can't call Gilly Gillian Bet? What? <laughs> People have different needs and priorities. Just don't give me something the warmth of. I, I have a cat. You sit up as a pillow, mixing your perfume. Pardon? Putting your head on the chest, listening to them breathe as they. I can't make that joke. Dozing off knowing they're there, watching me, protecting me. I feel. I have a cat. <laughs> Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? Let me know that my uncle, Juan, taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking. Or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Yeah, you gotta keep, gotta keep talking to Aunt Rosa before she beats her child. <laughs> I shouldn't joke about that, but come on. I gotta make the Uber that closure. So, got me something weird, would you? Huh, ventriloquism. Weird? A weird dream? Yeah, something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Let's see. Promo dreams with that belly slip. Grizzly Tumble could work? You know, woman? I don't even think those are weird. They'd be dead young. I, I think this Zed and Star Wars would be good. That's Moonlight. Yeah, let's go Zed and Star. It's four of all, right? Yeah. And all in the rocks and mix. Then start. Here. Yeah, this fits the bill. It's a promotional drink made to calm Mama Ray. I didn't say that. A movie. Read. They left at a chance to sell drinks that would be unmarkable otherwise. Oh. You know, the orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a grand team. That's something like a cobalt velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need some different. Is there going to be a time when I have to serve her that in that order and it doesn't tell me what she wants? <laughs> Something tells me part of the reason he left this day is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines. As a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice underscore Yabby thing? That's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough for one of the speech they prepared just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there's this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. I can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remember that it was a 
just petty vandalism. Hey, that's anonymous. <laughs> anyway, every everyone that participated uses started using the same name. Like, please don't hack me, anonymous. I'm I'm good. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. Oh, Alice and Miss everything is the logical conclusion of that. So what happens when the idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream? It's no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, honoring and judging everything that anyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of, um... Uh, how do I make a joke out of this? I'm recording, right? Okay, good. Oh no, I don't minimize that. No, no, no. Yeah, you put that over there. Antithesis. An antithesis. It's said like that. It's not said like antithesis. It's like antithesis. I, I'm not saying it right, but I, I know I'm not saying it right. A antithesis. A very usual boogeyman, if you if you must. So you don't think that such a person exists? Don't know. Don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity, but it might be anything—an individual, a group, an AI. This is your fuck fun. It's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So Alice, Cor Alice underscore Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks of or consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me. It's thanks to that dang Alice Rabbit thing. I see. But enough of that. There's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah. You've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometime for too long. Oh, that. You hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? Yes. Uh, no, I... That's right. I just crashed by your apartment. Oh, you can't just say that. Don't do that. I have a cat van. Maybe we also crash for the night. Never sleep over. Read our hair. Tell stories all night. Shower to get. Please don't. This is terrifying. No, you need some human work in that place. <laughs> nice! Man, you act too nonchalantly. It's no fun. You act a little bit. Let me tease you a second. I refuse. No seriousness, though. Any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. You just for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. Or at least I've asked you out at 10 a.m., you know? That's early morning by my standards. I mean, she probably works till like. Mars have a universal closing time, right? Like 2 a.m., 4 a.m.? I don't know. Maybe they don't have a universal closing time, but it's just, you know, kind of a standard. But, or maybe there's not one. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out, I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Anyway, we're gonna need another drink here. Like, say, a big brand TV. Finally, that's the helmet I know. Easy enough. And I think. Does this count as big? Okay, we can do that. Aged and mixed. There we go. Here. You know, Martini is such a weird name. The surgeon is supposed to replicate the market. The problem is, the BTC got hold of the brand of Burmouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So, on a weird whim, they changed the name. I see. You know, I was wondering. I don't see. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah? Don't you worry about what the people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. You don't? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really. Most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? You get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's besides the point. Nobody says that. I get my payment to my job and forget about the whole thing. Make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem. I've always found my job fun. Oh, is she the one that recommended the love for you? Probably not. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs. It's not like every day's a thrill. They meet with the client or 
Head on, it's always fun to have as many filters as I can manage. Remember I once did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying the letters? For security reasons, right? Actually, is that why I lose a lot less time? I don't have to deal with the clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. Also, don't have to lose time figuring my work because. Big. Uh, I can't translate that. To, like, I don't have to translate that, but, you know, I know my audience loves fun, the funny, funny jokes I tell, so I have to. This big boobs equals small brain or some. Stuff like that. See, they, you laughed at that one, right? That song is silly. Did digital drive. This sounds like the kind of thing that I'm playing in a racing game. What's the next one? Oh, okay, let's go back down. Shut up, fine. I'm protecting my enemy is one of the reasons, but the few times I've shown myself. <sighs> they won't even risk your dangerous jobs, just run their metal security checks. I don't know, maybe under the shelf has a disabled nerd or something. Give them what they expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? There's things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. So many Alice Rabbit headlines have made me wonder about the hacking business too. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time then. Well, I'll take my leave now. See ya. Take care. Hello, Sugar. Please don't call me Sugar. Ow! Hello, Mr. Donovan. Figured. Like my pop used to say, never touch the... Never touch a woman inappropriately without asking first, with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. There, uh... I can't keep translating, but come on, Donovan! I'm trying to, trying to help you out here! That's all my abdomen felt. Do you normally beat people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry, you're safe. Flattered that the field of my similar house. Bit of advice. Shouldn't be real with the one serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. Just not part of it. It's okay, Jill. Blood is justice. Today I'm making this quick one. I'll attend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. The usual, he says. What's the usual? <laughs> Three days and he already has a usual drink. Don't worry, I I'm good at this. I play video games. Did he want a big one? Or... Oh, did he, did he order a big one? Let's do it. Go big or go home. That's what I always say. Is that a seven? And all mixed. The usual. Sure, this will work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? Maybe I'm supposed to go a small one. That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So I was working to clinch, clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the heck do you think you're talking to, kid? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but the editors told us what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you'd find out when you get the right people drunk. Hmm? Hey, the signature on that glass over there. Oh, oh yeah. The big... Uh, come on, Donovan, I'm trying to help you out over here. That little one was here? Uh, she came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? Uh, no. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there has to be something. Uh, well, I love her what she does. It's so honest with you that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that, that stuff. There'll be a bone here. Anything. You got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? Serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. Say, are many of your interns women, Mr. Donovan? All of my interns are women, kid. Every single one of them. It's a pack of hungry de- <laughs> It- I'm trying to think of an appropriate example here. Uh... I don't know how many people can relate to that. So in Final Fantasy XIV, there's a uh, basically it's called a squadron. It's just like you know a time-based thing to do on the side to get a couple, few three things. And you, you know you get people different, you get different people to sign up. You know you can get you know all all the different races. You know genders. I, I just I just picked the females because you know why not? 
Finally a woman. Did you ever watch Race for Hope? The movie? Yeah. I mean, you gotta make the white boots squadron, you know? Movie about a journalist looking for clues regarding a murder. That tacky movie had everything. Romance action, a dog with sun. Well, hold on, a dog with sunglasses. What movie was this? Grace for Hope. Hold on, let me look that up on my phone. It also sold this weird, fantastical image of what journalism is. Grace for Hope. This is a girl saw it in high school and wanted to become a journalist. Oh, okay, he didn't choose. And now I have to deal with that stuff. They can be so sure. My first brother in law was a doctor. He said that a couple of years after that emergency heart movie, all of his engines were a woman for a long time. And this is why you don't let brands that barely understand what responsibilities are for your career. Um you perhaps know a girl named Kimberly Will Bellet? Doesn't ring a bell. Who is she? Uh nobody. Could have said anything. Any interesting preview of the Mario's news? You're expecting them to share my information when you want to share your scoop on a singer? I can one share when there's honestly nothing to share. Aha. Uh -huh. Learning to be a good citizen today and I'll let this one pass. Ever heard of a group called the Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. Read their manifesto on the bathroom once. Interesting piece and even better makeshift toilet paper. Nice. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses, and something like that. You see, you insult them without being, uh, without making me, you know, censor. It's nice. I don't have to make a funny joke because there's already a funny joke there. I think I've heard about them somewhere. One of them. I sent a message to some outlets saying they have proof of their claims. That they're going to release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. Is tomorrow the 17th? I know, right? Alright, kid. Give me a bleeding drink so I can call it a day. Okay. That's a shame to face. I don't think I've made one of these before. I mean, I still haven't made all the drinks, so yeah. Well, obviously, since I haven't made this one before. At least I don't think so. Blue drink. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. So I've heard this is Donna Zane's bar. Is it true? Yep. Never thought I'd hear about the un undefeated of the West again. Or so after that incident with the bears. The bear? <laughs> Where is she? She's out getting some bears? Six years ago, a cash trap Dana Zane. Da is it Dana or Dana? I think Dana. Entered an underground ring for money. First, 10 in your age grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. What? Who is this person? Could she set them free afterwards, too? And you were there? I was drunk and bored. What can I say? You know she lost her arm there? Can't remember, too drunk. Maybe she had her prosthetic then too. I heard someone there suggest that she lost enough to throw a baseball out of some stadium. Threw it so hard her arm fell off. Well, that sounds more like an unsubstant unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. Oh, well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank you for winning me my second yacht. New betting on here was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. Break that. How long was that one? 28 minutes. Okay, it's getting shorter. Uh, make that save. I'll see you guys next time with some more Valhalla. I want to keep recording, but now I have to go play games with people. <laughs> Just let me play Valhalla all day. How long is this game? I think B uh, VN Database said it was over 10 hours. So, I'm happy with that. Let's keep going. <laughs> Just make it go on forever. I wish. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.